Father Yang says he was unaware of the dialogue yesterday and would have attended such an important meeting to explain clearly the IBA situation in relation to its university status. He says parents must clearly understand the situation before they make decisions. The person, spokesperson, uh, was a lady. She was in charge of students' uh, administration and student services. She mentioned that the Institute of Business Study follows all the laws and policies, and they don't understand why the department is questioning. The other statement was just made that we did not communicate to IBS. In 2013, IBS applied for the university status, and they failed in 2013. And at that time, they were advised that they were given three years to fix those issues and reapply again. And the deadline was 30 of October 2017. So between 2013 and October 2017, they had three years to reapply. They chose not to do it. So what they did, they asked Francis Marus, he was the Minister for Higher Education, and uh, he declared them as university, which is legally wrong. But let me say what the department did. The department wrote a letter to Mr. Edward Silva on June 13, 2017, subject recognition of IBS as a university. In this letter, as you can see, we pointed out all the procedures which took them from our Higher Education Act. On the institution status, the DHS secretary says IBS can only now operate as a TAFE college as registered under IPA. They cannot operate as university because the National Higher Technical Education Board does not recognize it. And the National Higher Technical Education Board met in December 6 and made the final decision. And the decision is like that. The National Higher Technical Education Board is not recognizing Institute of Business Study as a higher education institution, thus IBS will not be sitting in the 2017 national selections with other registered higher education providers due to the fact that IBS registration under the Act has expired in October 30, 2017. And the board asked me to write a special, uh, special uh, letter, and I wrote the second letter, December 11, concerning this matter, and in this letter I just took the final decision of the National Higher Technical Education Board, which is the only authority in our country which registers institutions of higher learning. Penalty for an institution to operate as university without being accredited is a fine of 250,000 kina and be forced to shut down. Because my letter which has five pages, dated June 13, clearly spell out. They confirm the receiving of my letter in June 23rd, requesting me to leave this matter at rest, not to touch. So this is very unprofessional. So I responded to the letter on the 23rd of June. My letter is dated June 28, which I highlighted again what they have to do to get recognition as an institution of higher learning or as a university. The DHS secretary also offered necessary steps for IBSU to take. What we expect IBS to do to be recognized as a unis, institution of higher learning or university, and then we could accredit, accredit those programs. So in that was June 2013. We got response from Mr. Um, Edward Silva on June 23rd saying that they are complying with everything which is incorrect and what was interesting the conclusion which I highlighted in yellow we rest uh, we, we request you rest the matter for the benefits of aspiring younger generation in the country so basically they asked me to cooperate with corruption uh, cooperate with compromising standards of higher education in Papua New Guinea for the sake of young Papua New Guineans. Stacy Yalo, National, MTV News.